Hey guys, this is the first tutorial for you so you can access the work at home more successfully, more easily, and, and so you can show me all the beautiful artwork that you've been doing so far. Um, a big special shout out to all those that have done work so far, and what I wanna do is over the next few weeks, I want to be able to collaborate all that work that you've done, give some special mentions, show some of um, the work that some of you have been doing, and so on. So today, what I want you guys to do is to access the task that I've set on Shama Homework, and in this case, it's the um, drawing of the bee, and then I'm going to draw that bee a step by step so you can follow along. You can pause it at any time, you can rewind it, it is completely up to you. Give you a best shot, enjoy. Okay, so let's just get started now. Before we start, now remember, remember all the things and all the um, techniques that I get you guys to do so you can successfully eh, attempt these tasks. Now, first of all, make sure that your pencil is always nice and sharp. Now you can see on the top of mine, it's a little bit, I don't know if you can see that, just under here, you can see that it's a little bit chipped. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give that a nice sharpen, and so I get a nice point. Now, remember, try to avoid to use a rubber, because remember what happens is, you know, and you know this, if you draw something, you don't like it, you rub it out, and then you just go away and you do exactly the same thing, which isn't exactly what you want. So instead, remember to draw very lightly. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to be pushing really hard. You want to just get you nice and lightly. So if when you do make a mistake and you do want to rub it out, you can rub out those light lines. But what you can't do is you can't rub out those dark lines. Okay, so take your time, nice and spacious. Okay, so now for the task. So now we had a few step by step so we're going to start with number one now if i look at here so you've got this kind of peanutty shape remember nice and lightly try and be confident nice and light so you've got the head shape and then you want an oval shape for the body and then you've got this big kind of bum comes around like so, like that. Next, we want to start positioning with the antennae, where the eyes are going to go. So let's do, let's do the little antennae, antennae, uh, like so. Now the eyes will kind of cusp in there. We're gonna go this leg here, another leg going this direction. We're also gonna put one that comes off at the back there. Now the wings, wings they're gonna come from this part of his body. So you've got to have one this side. So we're gonna bring that up and then the well's one that'll be behind. And angle. Okay, so you've got like this so far. Now let's start actually confirming some of those lines and, and darkening some of the areas. So, if we look, so the head is gonna be quite dominant. So I'm gonna push a little bit harder on the head, bring that round. And, and I put his, now they have like a weird little beak on. Now we're gonna stick the eyes out. And then uh, one antenna. And then the other antenna. Now this body, let's sort the wings out first. So we push harder as we go along. And they're gonna out and in like that and do the same for the other side and this time we're gonna go from this side and up. 
in, starting to push ever so slightly harder. Now, this part is hidden. Got a stinger on the end. Bring that line round. Now, before I push over here, because this legs is going to be in the way, so I'm going to push a little bit harder. Now, they're in, the legs are in like little sections, so got one little section that comes up, and then it's got another section that comes down and then into its feet, and it's like zaggy feet. And now I can bring that bum part up joins like so. Now I'm going to add a little ridge. I'm going to put a ridge on the other side as well. Like that part. Now same same issue. So on this we got the leg down there we go we put the feet back on now we're on the front legs and then with that feet again with the laggy feet it doesn't have to be perfect And then I'm going to bring that up, bring the body round, and just darken those areas. Okay, so now we're actually starting to see the wasp. Now, what we haven't got is the other legs, because we want to make it look 3D. So, let's start putting in those other legs here. So, we've got that one leg. Let's do another leg. And we kind of want them spread out a little bit. And then... Foot in, and then there'll be another leg hidden behind here. You can just about see. So I'm behind the body on the other side. Get that feet in. And then you've got that back one. So you can only just about see that bottom part. Okay, so now that we've got all the legs in, now we can start adding the actual details to the wasp. So you've got other lines, you've got shadows, you've got all those stripes. Now remember, if you get the chance, and so you don't run out of too much time, you can do some research. Why is it that these, these have, why do they have stripes? Don't know, it's for you to find out. Okay, so bring that around, so those, bow, um, those stripes, it's like a tiger. And then you've got some stripes that are here. Okay, so now that we've drawn it all out, I hope we want to get the eyes in. Now, once you've drawn out your wasp, your next stage is what you want to do is, uh, it's an opportunity for you to color it and try and make it look as realistic as possible. Try not to just color it in blocks. Think about the texture. Now, when you zoom in to a wasp, they actually look really, really hairy. So, wasp or a bee, sorry. Um, they actually look really, really hairy and you want to be using a mixture of your colors as to make this stand out. Now, I'm actually gonna start with the legs first. Now, legs are generally black, but in the light, we're gonna see areas of blue 
as well, and possibly like a lighter blue. So we're using those harmonious colors that we've used um, previously okay, to exaggerate all these forms and shapes. Now also, you've got to think about where your light is. So if our light's coming from this side, so if I draw a little sun, so if I know our light's over here, and it's aiming this way, but we know we're gonna get a car shadow coming along this way, and you're gonna get all reflection lines all the way around. So, let's start then. Um, first of all, let's start with a light color, because you can always make it darker. So I'm gonna just lightly, I'm gonna start on this leg, and I'm going to lightly color that leg in. Okay, so that's like that. Now, I'm gonna use my darker color, so I'm gonna use my blue. Now, I don't want it all blue, because I want those reflection lights. So if it's light on this side, it's gonna be darker, more around here. Now, if you don't worry if you don't have any colors, you can just try and shade it instead, black and white and grays. Okay, now I'll use my black. Now, for my black, this is where I can push a little bit harder. Remember, keep it nice and sharp. If you need to sharpen it, do. Slowly work over. Okay, so you have something that looks like that. Okay, so now these parts are more orangey. So we we'll want an orange, maybe yellow. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna color all this in orange to start with, just lightly. And then I'm gonna go back over with yellow. Now, go back over the orange a bit more. And there's also like these little hairs all around because they're fuzzy. So, and I'm gonna use that orange to create those little hairlines so it's a slightly and just overlap over the top of those parts there. Go back to my black and okay, so we have something that's starting to look like that. Now if I mimic that for these legs here, so I'm gonna quickly go over a little bit faster. So, light blue, light blue, light blue. Okay, so dark blue. Now again, think about where my light's coming from. A little bit of a shadow there. Back over. Let's do let's do the orange first. So the orange, orange. So the orange feet out. Bring it from the other side, and then we've got a little bit of yellow. Let's mix that up. Make it a bit lighter. Put your reflections on there. Make it look a bit more three D. And now for the black. Don't be scared to push hard if you need to. Okay, so looking something like 